welcome back to the channel and this time let's see and let's talk about high density altitude operations this is Moravia in Costa Rica 5000 feet density altitude small tires muddy grass strip needs lots of space to be in the air but he made it safely now let's go to Idaho this is marble airstrip 1160 feet long and is at 4662 feet elevation you can see this is a confined approach in a canyon and you have a go around you can continue following the valley so that's not an issue but from this view you can see how tall are the trees and how short is the strip so when you add the ingredient of high density altitude to this landing you have more ground speed you have less lift so you have to take that into consideration when you are landing you want to come slow over the trees and try to touch down at the beginning of the airstrip that way you have enough room to stop the airplane on time many times people ask how do you know how high you are above the trees it's just a matter of time and practice and you get used to the side picture of the trees below your airplane or to the sides of the airplane so you can do good technique that will help you with high density altitude and the weight also will help but so there is nothing you can do for the performance from the airplane the wings and the propeller just keep the right speed but for the engine you can adjust the air mixture and you can produce a bit more power, more performance. Here we are departing in Johnson Creek, 4960 feet elevation. Uh, the temperature might be about 15 degrees Celsius, maybe a little more. So let's say 5000 feet density altitude. Now let's see this same takeoff and I am adjusting the mixture for the takeoff to get more performance. What I do is I add power and then start to reduce the mixture when the RPMs start to go higher. I increase the mixture just a bit and then I'm ready for the takeoff. And then you see that it is a long takeoff roll. So I do this um, adjustment of the mixture by feel by ear. I do not do it by the engine monitor. I, the way I do the lean for high density altitude operations is I start leaning by retracting the mixture until the RPMs increase. Then when they increase, I add some mixture in to be on the safe side or else it will be too lean. It's better to be on the rich side than on the lean side. When I lean for high density altitude operations, let's say leaning back and then the RPMs increase, then I go in a little bit. But what I want to show you is, let's say this gap is this size. So for the rest of the day, any, anywhere I land, I land full reach or I land like this. Before the next takeoff, I don't have to do the whole procedure. 
I just go and do the me same measurement and that's my measurement for the day because the temperature and the altitude of the area I'm operating. This is if I'm operating at high density altitude operations in Idaho or something like that. This is the Idaho book of my first trip to Idaho. I use this book to go to these airstrips to get the elevation and the length of the runway and you have a picture of it and then it's up to you to figure out your technique, your approach, the weight of the airplane and how are you going to perform in these landings and takeoffs. Also what I found tricky in Idaho the first time I was flying there it was the, the canyons they look the same and also that you can end up too high on some of the approaches so that's something you have to figure out yourself. I recommend to use a, an instructor that knows this area very well and can teach you the approaches. Here we are in Upper Loon, again I checked the gap between the mixture and the instrument panel and I am ready to go. Upper Loon is at 5,500 feet elevation. On this day with the temperature we are talking about more than 6,000 feet density altitude so definitely it helps to adjust the mixture for these kind of operations. Now we are taking off from Lower Loon. Again I check the gap, the mixture lever and the instrument panel is the same as before and I'm ready for the takeoff. This airstrip is shorter. I want to use ground effect to gain more speed because you will start climbing right away, fly over the valley, which is rising terrain. From this view, you can appreciate that as soon as you take off, you're flying over the river, then a little to the right side of the canyon, and everything is rising terrain. So for those of you who fly only on the coast, on flatlands, you have to make sure you learn to lean the mixture, but also, very important, do not carry a lot of cargo, a lot of fuel if you don't need to. Be very careful with the weight of the airplane. Uh, something that you will notice definitely and especially in high density altitude operations is the weight of the airplane. The performance decrease when the airplane is heavy is a big issue and is dangerous. Many of the Cessnas like the 182 and the 206 or models can carry a lot of cargo, a lot of weight, but when you go to the high density altitude airfields you have to be very careful and watch the weight of the airplane don't carry extra stuff that you don't need and you're going to decrease the performance of your airplane also about fuel plan your flight and know how much you're going to need for your flight at your reserve and that's enough for the flight don't fly all the time with full tanks Always be aware of the fuel quantity. This next airstrip is Memaluz in Idaho. At this day, the high density altitude was about 8,000 feet. It is very long, but it was a little bit soft, some mud, and it took a long time to get in the air. And this 182 has the P-Punk engine with 280 horsepower. We were lightweight with low amount of cargo and just enough fuel for the flight and the reserve and still it took a long time to get in the air. This is Moravia in Costa Rica, also high density altitude, about 6,500 on this day. Again you can see that it takes a long roll for the airplane to get in the air. I tried to stay in ground effect for a bit, which helps with the performance 
of the airplane when taking off. I learned in a Piper Cherokee Warrior 160 and we had an airport at high density altitude about 5,000 or 6,000 feet and we flew the whole training with rich mixture and the airplane performance was really terrible. So lean for altitude, be aware of the weight of the airplane, fly early so it's cooler, better performance, there is no wind usually and be sure about your capabilities. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support a Country 182 YouTube channel please join me on Patreon. See you next time. Description of this video I navigate uh, below by Country 182 at the top right you can click on Patreon and it will take you to the Patreon page where you can select your membership level it will show you the peers and everything by becoming a patreon for backcountry 182 you will not only be helping the youtube channel but you can also get direct advice or discount on some aviation products for your airplane or advice or products for your airplane we can chat and video call